Addie, would you come up here and sit by me? Okay. All right, it's going to be okay. You're going to go sit over there. All right? It's going to be just fine. Hello, I'm Laura Goldberg. I'm Addie. Well, it is so nice to meet you, Addie. I like that robe. Is it made of silk? No, no it's just plain old polyester. Easy to take care of. <laughs> Listen, Addie, do you think you could answer some questions for us? Sure. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Excuse me. Mr. Freeman. Bearing in mind my instructions, you may begin asking Miss Kramer some questions. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Miss Kramer, for being here with us today. You're welcome. Why do you think your daughter didn't want you to come here and help us? I don't know. Todd wanted me to. But you promise you'll tell the truth, though, won't you? Yes, I always tell the truth. Only sometimes I get confused. Well, that's okay, because this won't be confusing at all. Would you tell us who Star is? Oh, Star is my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Blair is the mommy and Todd is the daddy. Todd is the daddy. Todd is Star's daddy. Is uh, He's nice, but not as nice as Patrick. Mm -hmm. Patrick's not Star's daddy, is he? Or Cord. I like Cord. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I am this woman's sister. And I, I have to insist that she not be put through this. She can't be on the stand. You are Mrs. Lord? Yes, I am. Well, Mrs. Lord, if things become too confusing or uncomfortable for the witness, I will dismiss her. Now, please do not interrupt us again, or I will have to have you removed. Now, you are doing just fine, Addie. Thank you. But all you have to do is answer Mr. Freeman's questions. You don't have to talk about anything else. Okay. Miss Kramer, you're going to be a grandmother again soon, aren't you? Well, you mean, is Blair going to have another baby? Yes, she's going to have another baby. This, this is a real baby, isn't it, Blair? Sometimes Blair's babies are real babies, and sometimes they're just pretend. But this baby's a real baby, isn't it? Right, Blair? Yes, Mama. It's real. Let me see if I have this right. Sometimes Blair pretended to be pregnant, and sometimes she didn't, right? I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this. Blair told me not to talk about the pretend baby, only if it's a real baby. Oh? Why didn't she want you to talk about it? I don't know if I'm supposed to tell. Todd... But you did promise to tell the truth, though, didn't you? Yes, I always tell the truth. And the truth is, Blair pretended to be pregnant, because why? Because Todd's rich? Yes. Todd's rich. Thank you. In fact, he was going to inherit almost $30 million, and Blair knew that, didn't she? I don't know how much money. Um, Blair, am I supposed to talk about this? You said if it was a real baby, and this is a real baby. Yes, this one is a real baby, Miss Kramer. But let's think back, shall we? when Blair lied and pretended to be pregnant with Asa Buchanan's baby. You do remember that time, don't you? Asa's bad. I'm nobody. Who are you? Oh, are you nobody, Let's forget about too? Asa. Let's talk I'm about nobody. Blair. Who are you? Ms. Kramer, answer are the question. Nobody? Did Blair fake a pregnancy with Asa Buchanan? Yes or no? Stop it! What? Stop hurting her! I've got my medical records in here. Don't you talk somewhere? Somewhere in here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Show everybody. Show everybody. You, you, you want to say? Down. You want to say? Leave me alone, Todd. You don't care who you hurt, do you? You don't care. You don't hurt her. I hate you. And you will never get close to you. Sorry, you understand me. You're worse than you were before, Todd. I hate you. Anybody but yourself. Don't you hurt my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Mrs. Manning, if you would be so kind, please assist your mother from the stand. She is excused. Thank you, Your Honor. But, Your Honor, we have more questions. No, Mr. Freeman, you do not. Because no further questions will be allowed. And since you clearly ignored my instructions in chambers specifically to back off if the witness became upset, I hereby fine you $500 for contempt of court. But, Your Honor, we... Ladies and gentlemen, due to the lateness of the hour, I feel that nothing further can be accomplished today. So this hearing is adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. All right. Can you believe what the judge did? Just because she makes a mistake by allowing us to put her on the stand, she has to make me look like the villain. You are the villain. What? And if you put that $500 on my bill, I'll break both your legs. Me, Kevin. Kevin? Uh, yeah, Ma. Where are you going? Right up the story. Okay. A custody suit brought by the publisher of a local newspaper is news. Yeah. Star is a member of our family. I would like you to keep that in mind when you write this story, please. Okay. No problem. Take care, guys. Yeah. See you. I don't blame Blair for what she did in here today. I would have thrown a lot more than papers. How can they do that to that poor woman? Patrick, look, I'm sorry to bother you. I... Mama, she's she's murmuring that poem that, that you helped her with before. If you could just help her one more time, please. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm nobody, who are you? I'm nobody, who are you? Are you nobody too? There's a pair of us. Don't tell. They banish us, you know. How dreary to be somebody. Is he gone for good? That awful man, he was making me say things about Blair that I didn't want to say. I just kept saying my poem all the time, yours and mine, over and over, until he went away. That's okay, okay, Patrick? Of course. Oh, Mama, I'm so glad to be better. <laughs> I think it's time for me to take Hattie home. Uh, no, dear, we can manage that. Thank you very much. There's something that I would like you to do. What? Okay, just come here for a moment. Sure. I want you to go down to the banner and just make sure that uh, Kevin doesn't write something awful about the terrible things that happened here today. It's bad enough what Todd's going to write in the sun. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Kevin's not going to write something derogatory. The Buchanans have already inflicted enough damage, okay? I will not have them do any more. What is that supposed to mean? It's, when are you going to tell me about what's going on with you and Asa? And what are you or ever going to do anything that I ask you to do? Okay, fine. But we will talk about this later. Thank you, Kathy. <sighs> Goodbye. Patrick, you can come with us in our car and we can say our poems over and over again, okay? Uh, let's do that some other time. I think you've got enough company as it is. You can't come with us? Patrick, please, could you spare just a little bit more time for, for Mama? Please. Sure, let me, let me just talk to Margaret, okay? Thank you. I, I I have to go to the bathroom first. Is there a bathroom here? I yes, we'll go, of course. Thank you, Patrick. Right. Yes, thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Addie asked me to take her back to St. Anne's. And I agreed. Is she all right? Oh, yeah, she's smarter than she lets on. She was quoting that poem to avoid the lawyer's questions. I'll meet you at the house later, okay? Mm. I have an idea. I'm starving and there's no food there. Why don't we meet at Rody's? And then I have a late shift at the hospital. All right. Okay. Well, I know you're there. And I know you're just dying to say something, so uh, 